We must provide solution that is better and sustainable and lasting. There is fire on the mountain. Water don't pass Gario. This protest never starts. Our lawmakers don't decry. Hmm. If this would they cry before the protest, what would they happen if the protest start properly? Now they are begging Nigerian youth not to enter streets, and we shouldn't compare Nigeria with Kenya because, according to them, Nigeria is the giant of Africa. But we they ask them if Nigeria is bigger than Kenya, let them do the new for now. My people will be smart, you know. Watch this video to the people of Nigeria. You are crying is right. Your complaint of hardship is right. But is the solution found in carrying placard and lining the streets? Is the solution found in copying a country lesser than us? The references that are made today to Kenya and all the rest of them, they are smaller country to Nigeria. We are giant of Africa. We must prefer solution that is better and sustainable and lasting. That solution is not found in our children being killed on the streets while protesting. It's not found in our raising placard. It's found in supporting the policies of government and understanding that these policies need time to begin to materialize. Rome was not built in a day. In 360 days, the president of this country have not rested, have not gone on jamboree, has not gone to pursue shadows. He has been deliberately, intentionally laying foundation for a nation that needs that stability. And we have been supporting, and I thank the parliament for all the support. We have been giving support to all the policies of government. With one single agenda in mind, the people, the people, and the people. How to make our people better. And I want to say that we should support this motion, not only in this house, but in our various constituencies. Mr. Speaker, Ian Zhao Zhao, the lover of peace. It's about time we take the message to our various constituencies and begin to appeal to them to be a little patient. Mr. President did not mean so well when he said there will be difficult times, but it will not last forever. It is delayed gratification for greater gain. Let us wait a little longer. Let us not go to the streets. Hope is coming. We, your parliamentarians, are making sacrifices. Mr. Speaker, I want to appeal. Even if it means cutting our salary to help the provision of food for our people who are hungry, I want to appeal that the House look into that. I know our salary is not much, but even if we did that in COVID, during COVID, we cut our salary. We slice our salary and we help the people. This is a time that is calling for sacrifice. And I'm sure these people here are willing to make sacrifices for our people. Let them consider our appeal. Mr. Speaker, a gentleman here called me this morning, a member of the parliament. He said, we are young parliamentarians. We want to go to appeal to Nigerians, even if it means kneeling down, asking them to be a little patient. And this parliamentarian is not from APC. This parliamentarian is from opposition party. He said, I'm young, like those who are agitating. I am on social media, like those who are agitating. But I know the effort we are making here to make the nation great. If it means kneeling down to them, we will kneel. The parliament is calling on Nigerians. Please, bear with the government a little longer so that these policies will begin to see the light of the day. Thank you as I appeal to this House to in one voice support and be willing, if the leadership calls, for us to make sacrifices with our salary. Just a little pain for us to be able to provide food for our people. Thank you very much. We have a problem. It is not in doubt, Mr. Speaker. There is no member here who disagrees with the point that there is a problem in Nigeria. But also there is no representative here who doesn't believe that problems that we refer to did not just arise overnight. It is a compilation of years. 
of difficulties that piled up. There's an agreement in our mind also that one year is not enough to resolve hydra-headed problems. And as a solution hub, what we are here to do is to find the best plug to fit into the hole that will soothe the pain of Nigeria. Nigeria is bleeding. We agree. We are also Nigerians. My name is Benjamin Okezie Kalo. I represent the good people of Nigeria, starting from Ben, the federal constituency. As a speaker, I'm from Abia State. I rise to support this motion, all important motion, timely motion, reasonable motion, nation building motion. A motion that is laid on this floor with an appeal. It's only a man who is patriotic, who believes in nation building, who presents such motions. So I thank you, Honorable Isiaka, for being sensitive as a leader in Nigeria. I know many of us here are sensitive. Many of the representatives here are passionate about our country. That was why we left all the things we are doing to come to be part of a government that will grow our nation. We cannot also be deterred from looking at the fact that we may have, we may have some undertones under the so-called alleged protest, national protest. Those undertones may, one way or the other, be having what we call political motivation. I want to believe that when you are talking of hunger, when you are talking of prosper, po, po, pro, when you are fighting for prosperity, you are talking for national unity and development. Sometimes you have to do a little away with political interests and political motives. We must face ourselves, do the right thing without necessarily imputing unnecessary, po, unnecessary political motives. And in this regard, Mr. Speaker, I want to say without any fear of contradiction that while we will continue to encourage the government to continue to implore the use of the carrot, 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 but the government must also be firm and stand on standby, not to discard the stick. Use the carrot approach to assuage people, support them, address issues and hardships, but the stick must not be discarded. Because where we, found issue, where we find issues, or you have issues with people who have sinister motives to undermine the success of the present day government, then definitely the stick will come in to address that situation. Yeah, Mr. Speaker, I want to finally say, that being a religious country, a country that is proudly Muslim and Christian people, we are proud of our two religions, that we call on our people to continue to support the government in authority so that we will also answer the call of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where he says clearly in the Holy Quran, Ya ayyuhal lazina amanu, adiwullah wa adiw rasula wa ulul amru minkum. Which simply means everyone as a faithful is expected to be loyal to authorities, to be loyal to those who are in authorities, because those in authorities are, are what we call representatives of God on earth, and will continue to do justice to our people as time goes forward. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.